Hello, welcome to my wreath shop. I'm Julie Samako, and this is like take two of this Facebook Live video. First of all, I want to say Happy New Year. And again, we're in the wreath shop, and today we're making a New Year's Eve wreath. So um, as you come in, comment below and tell me where you're from and what are you doing um, today on this Thursday. And just let me know. Oh, also, I'm celebrating my birthday. Happy birthday to me. And um, I apologize for having to move the Facebook Live up by an hour, but it's so that I could celebrate my birthday with my family. Um, as you come in, comment below and tell me what are you doing um, this Thursday. I see, I'm going to see all my comments, your comments right here um, on my iPad so that I can see what you're up to and, and what you're doing. And then also, um, oh, let me mute this down a little bit. Um, but I just wanted to welcome, welcome you again to my wreath shop. I am Julie Samako, owner of Southern Charm Wreaths, where we make beautiful wreaths and teach you how to make and sell them. I'm also a business coach and mentor to creative entrepreneurs through my Success Circle membership group. And today we're making a New Year's Eve wreath. It's going to be very, very quick. At least I hope. Um, hi guys! Yay! Okay, I'm starting to see some people coming in. Let me get some, you know, situated a little bit. I want to move my iPad so that I can see it. And, um, hey, yay, yay, yay! Happy birthday to me! Yay! Thanks, guys! Thank you so much! Um, let's see. I want to know, also, as you're coming in and, um, we're starting to build the audience, tell me what do you do for New Year's Eve? Are you um, an introvert? Do you kind of like stay in and hunker down at home and, um, you know, watch some movies and stuff or watch the countdown from home? Or are you a party girl? Do you go out and party and um, hang out with your friends and stuff like that? So I'd love to know what you guys are doing for New Year's Eve. And make sure to stay with me to the end of the video because I have some giveaways I want to talk to you about because, you know, it's my birthday. So I want to give you some gifts. Isn't that fun? Won't that be so much fun? All right, so make sure you stay with me to the end of the video. And um, I'm going to get started on the wreath because, again, I'm trying to get through this so that we can, um, it's already pretty late here, and, and we want to get out and get to um, get some dinner and stuff like that. So, remember, if you have any questions, you could comment below, and if I don't get your um, questions here live on the video, I will come back and look at it um, on the replay, and we can, uh, I'll answer your questions then. Let's see if you have any. Okay, yay, all right. All right, so first um, we're going to talk about the wreath base. And this one is a grapevine wreath that I purchased white. It's already white and it has some glitter on it, okay? It had silver glitter. And then I found this at Michael's. It's, um, a, it's like a swag. And it has some fruit um, and it's got the, sh it's like a champagne gold color with um, some silver um, glittered picks and stuff. I thought that would look really pretty up against the white wreath, okay? So like here's the back of the white wreath. So you can see that it's definitely a white wreath, but I wanted to add a little bit of gold to the front of the wreath. So what I did is um, I purchased some of this um, gold acrylic it's like it's the metallic you know how you can get acrylic paint and the metallic colors so this is a gold one all right and then I've taken um, just a sponge brush let me see if you can see it on the video you can it's a sponge brush you know just the cheap throwaway kind and a paper plate and then what I've done is I just dab it um, here and there on the wreath so uh, let's see let's do it down here so I've just go through and I dab it just like this you can see right here and I don't want to do the whole thing I just want to do enough to get the gold on um, you know just to get some of the gold so it's not so stark white all right and that's all I'm doing is I just take the brush and I um, just do some sponge paint on the side and I'm gonna try not to do too much because I still have to handle this and I don't want to get paint all over me because <laughs> you know that would be totally what I would do 
I am um, actually, I'm a klutzy crafter. Are you guys klutzy crafters? I should don't get paint on myself. Do you make a mess? I always make a mess. I can never, never craft without making a huge mess. Okay, so let me um, show you. Oh yeah, I've got it all over my nails. There we go. All right, so let me show you real quick. Get this out of the way. You can see how I have um, added some glue, uh, gl what do you call that? The paint, the gold paint, just here and there. So I still want to see the white, and I still want to see the glitter, the silver glitter. And it'll, it's what it's going to do is it's going to make the, um, it's just going to blend really well with the swag that's already put, look, you guys, Michaels has already done the work for you. <laughs> it's already put together. And I got this one, and they were having their huge sale at the end of the year, um, end of the season. So it's already done. And I think that's, see how that's just going to blend really good? All right, so let's, that's that. Let me, um, I need paper towels. Let's see. I've got some napkins. I'll use that. Or some tissues. Okay, so let me get the paint out of the way before you know I will make a mess with that for sure. Yay! All right, let's see. Yep, people are making messes just like me. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. And if you're just joining me, we're making a New Year's wreath um, today in the wreath shop. And our color theme is going to be the like gold, cream, white, and some silver. Won't that be pretty? And make sure to stay with me at the end of the video so that um, I'm going to talk to you about some giveaways that I want to give you. Because, you know, it's my birthday. And that's how we roll here at Southern Town Wreaths. All right, so let me move this. Now, how did you guys see this 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 uh, wreath right here? It's a winter wreath with the little snowman sign. Isn't that pretty? This is a wreath that I'm going to teach my, um, uh, my members of my Wreath Making of the Month Club. I'm going to teach them how to make this winter wreath. I've already recorded the video, and I'm just going to um, upload it. That'll be next month. Let me find a place to hang this see if it'll hang right here let's see hopefully that'll hang right there all right and I'll put this up here on the wreath stand let's see somewhere I thought I put a hanger on here and it's white so now I can't find it oh there I painted it gold that's why okay let's get going yay Oh, Terry says her nephew's birthday's today too. Well, happy birthday. Okay, so the, what I want to do is just, um, I just think that is so pretty. Don't you guys think that's pretty? I hope you guys can see it. Okay. Um, I'm going to think about this for just a second. Do I want it down here? I think I want it right here. Um, and what I'm going to do is use some zip ties. And this is going to be the trickiest part, I think, of the whole night. Oh, don't you just... Jasper, uh-uh. Jasper, not on Facebook Live. The, um, we have a lot of wind here right now. And, you know, I work out of the garage, so that he hears all of this, um, the wind on the garage door. And he's thinking it's somebody else. Hold on, let me get this. This is tricky right here, trying to do it one-handed. Okay. Don't worry about if it's green. We just cover it up. We can paint it and cover it up. All right, so I've got one zip tie right there. And then I'm going to zip tie it now on both ends right here. So that it's nice and secured. Don't want that thing moving around. You know, when you're on the at the door and um, you know how the door slams and... How it can, um, things move around on your wreaths when it's on the front door. The only thing I couldn't find for this wreath is, um, a New Year's sign. Of course, I did look very hard, but I did, we did go to one store today. <laughs> so I couldn't find a very good New Year's Eve sign. So you can always 
paint one if you can't find one um, or add, you know, I've seen they've got signs everywhere like, you know, Party City and places like that that you could find and probably work in with the color that you're using. Let's see if I can get this on. Tony, this is probably the trickiest part of the whole wreath is working the, oh my goodness, the um, zip ties through all of the grapevine. Let me put on my spectacles. So if you're just joining me, we are making a New Year's Eve wreath to hang on the door for New Year's. There we go. All right, so I've just zip tied it to um, some of the grapevine. And that way I didn't go all the way to the back because it was, it was being difficult. So I just went on top. And then you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take that paint. Oh, I already threw it away. Let me get that. Just some of the paint that's already on the sponge. And I'm just going to cover up that green pick really good. Let's see, I probably need more paint. Just cover that up. So this is gonna, that'll camouflage it so you don't see it as much. And then we could cover it up too with other things. Um, if you're, you know, adding ribbon and stuff like that, you could cover it up with that or some leaves we can glue on top of there. All right, so that's that one and this one. Okay, now, now we're done with the paint. Cut the zip ties off in the back. Alrighty. So let's see, are you guys hearing me okay? Can you hear me? Okay, so somebody's asking me about my three-tiered carousel. I got this, I found one on, on Amazon and I think I got this one at Harbor Freight. But they have one on Amazon too. Yep, this is a hard time of the year to decorate, that's for sure. Uh, Pete, I'm gonna take off my New Year's hat because it's starting to fall. People are having, um, this is a hard time because it's winter. Nobody knows what to do for winter. And um, one rule of thumb is just to teach, uh, that I teach um, the people in my uh, members in the wreath making of the month club that I was just talked about in the video is to just decorate with what's in nature already. Well, I'm going too fast. Let me just show you how I did my bow. So I pinch about um, half an inch up from the bottom and then I lay it down and I'm measuring 10 inches, okay? So I'll make a loop just like that. And I push in to my fingers, lay it down, measure out 10 inches and make a loop. I got this ribbon at Sam's Club and I hear that they have their, this is the one I got this year and I hear that they have their um, ribbon on sale. All right, so I'm just doing three loops, right like that, okay? And then this loop, I'm going to do a real long one because this is going to be the tail of my bow, just like that. I'm going to go ahead and cut that off. All right, so I've got the tail, and now I'm going to use uh, florist wire to secure it. Just like that. And if you did, if you can't make a bow like this, you can make one of the the uh, you know the funky bows that I teach on my blog, southerncharmreads.com forward slash blog, um, and just do a search for funky f u n k y bow, and there's several versions out there. There's like a Christmas and a Halloween. All right, so I'm just going to trim that, and there we've made just a very simple bow. Isn't that cute? 
I'm going to put that right here. Do you remember on our swag where there, there was um, a little bit of a hole right here? I'm going to put that right there. Yay, somebody, okay, Stacy, St was that Sherry? Thanks for telling me you can hear me. Thank you so much. And if you would please do me a favor and share this video, I would be so, that would be your birthday present to me, you know that? If you would do me a favor and share this video, that would be awesome. That would help other people find me and um, follow me on Facebook. And plus, it will put it on your newsfeed so that you can find this wreath tutorial later. Let's see, I'm gonna try to move that up a little bit. Just like that. And I'm gonna twist it in the back real tight. Thanks for sharing, Tammy. Indiana in the house, welcome. Thanks, Debbie, for the birthday wishes. Uh, Kathy didn't know that they had ribbon at Sam's Club. Yes, ma'am, they have some really, they have actually better, not better, but they have, um, their ribbon that they have is cheaper, how about that, than what you find in wholesale. Um, this whole, this is 50 yards right here, and um, I think I paid like $7 and something. It was under $8 for 50 yards of wired ribbon. You can't beat that. Oh, okay, so I'm just going to fold the ends of my ribbon tails, and I'm going to do a little dovetail on the end, just like that, so it's real pretty, and it looks like it's a finished end. And now, what I wanna do is fill in. So I've got some other things that I've found that are in the same color um, scheme as the swag that I found. Yay, okay, cool, yay. So make sure you guys stay with me. I'm gonna try to get, get done with this pretty fast, but I wanted you guys to stay with me because I have some giveaway that I wanna to talk to you about. And, it, and in honor of my birthday, I am um, having a sale on all of my videos. So because I'm turning 48 today, you can get 48% off of all of my how-to videos, all of my business training, and um, all of my eBooks. So if you go to southerncharmries.com forward slash blog forward slash shop, you can, um, you can use the coupon code birthday and get 40% off. So all I've done is I've just cut, I'm just cutting the stems off of the, um, you know, the bushes and I'm just moving them around with my hands just to make, get, you know, give a little life and shape into them. And these are cute. These little, they're like sequins. Can you see that on the video? They're sequins. And then I'm going to use this. This is really cute. This is a glitter champagne colored um, eucalyptus. And then I got all of this at Michael's, you guys, except for the ribbon. I'm going to trim this up. I'm just going to, I don't need it so long. Look, you see how many pieces I can get from one stem. So you can use, that's how you can get the most out of your, some of the um, picks that you use. Oh, somebody else has got a birthday today. Yay, how many other um, December babies are in the house? How many other December babies? Okay, so I think I'm just gonna start sticking these in here and there. <clears throat> Now, if you had ornaments, you could use, you know, you could add ornaments to this too if you wanted. Um, what else could we add to this? It's already got some pine cones. So I'm just hot gluing these in here and there.
and this is just going to help fill it out so that um, when your neighbors come to your house to see the front door, they're going to think that you took the time to place all of this stuff around and that you, it wasn't um, a swag to start with. They're going to think you did it all just by hand. And there ain't no problem. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. We're going to work smarter, and we're going to let them think we did something hard. And that, that's always my philosophy. Work smarter and not harder. All right, so as you can see, I've added in the, the eucalyptus here and here and a piece there and a piece there and a piece there. So that's one stem of that glittered eucalyptus. And I'm still getting paint all over me. It would help when you do your wreath at home. You can make sure it, the paint dries <laughs> so that you don't get it everywhere. Okay, let's see. Um, can you turn the easel a little bit more? All right. Yeah, it's hard to see. It's hard for me to work on it and you guys to see it at the same time. Watching the Razorbacks and the video. Awesome. <laughs> Oh, okay, we get the, um, these, uh, the wire cutters are from, they're called Green Lee. They're from a company called Green Lee. And I'll put the link on here too for that, but you can get those on Amazon. You can get them at places like um, Lowe's and, um, let me just see. I want to make sure. Okay, so this is, part of this is kind of unraveled. So I want to see where I'm going to put these. But I love those. I love my clippers. My, um, they're really um, strong. Right now, I'm just going to place these in real quick because I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to put them. I want to make sure that um, before I hot glue things in. And I'm using the end that I cut. Let's see. All right, so I know where I'm going to put things. All right, so once you find a place where you're going to put it, I'm just going to move that out a little bit and put some hot glue and stick it down in there Best place to buy grapevine wreaths. Um, you could get these at you. Could, I've seen them at um, Hobby Lobby, and this wreath came from Michaels. I'm going to trim this just a little bit shorter. I feel like it's been forever since I've done like a video with you guys because of a Christmas. Last week we did, we made cookies in the kitchen with the hubs and Miss Kay, who apparently was my backup dancer for that video. She couldn't keep her, um, she couldn't stop dancing, but who cares? That's awesome, don't y'all think? <laughs> Keep on dancing, girl. All right. This one's being difficult. Let me get that in there.
Okay, there's a little bit of glue drip down here. So let's let that get off there. There. Glitter everywhere. Let's see if you have any questions. What brand of glue gun do I have? This is, um, it doesn't say. I think it's a Sure Bond. But here is so far what we have. And you can see I added the, the, the glitter. They're like a sequined silver uh, spiral pick. And it was all in one bush. Okay, so one here, one there. And then one up here, one here, and one here. So this is what we've got so far. Um, now, it's, I told you this is like really fast, isn't it? I mean, all of a sudden, this wreath is pretty much done. But I've got a few more things that I want to add. I wanted to add this. There, um, it's not flocked. It's soft. Um, it looks like frosted or snowy, and it's real, um, feels like, um, I don't know, some kind of batting material or something on it. But I thought this would be pretty to add a little bit of softness. And you see where I'm adding some to the top, so it's extending the swag that we already have on there. So it's just extending it a little bit more on the top and on the sides. Oh, they, so you enjoyed the Christmas cookie video. That is so funny. We took those cookies to Fayetteville yesterday. We visited Mike's family. We saw his mom. And she enjoyed it. She enjoyed the uh, cookies that we made her. some shorter pieces in around the bow area. You're driving girl you better uh be careful i'll try to think of things to say it's kind of hard you know listen i know you guys i am not the only one please can i get an amen if this is you when you are crafting you tend to like zone out i know i'm not the only one i know i'm not so tell me if that's you do you zone out and start you know you don't really want to have conversations it's hard isn't it you tend to like get quiet and think about what you're doing and put everything else <laughs> out of your mind so that you don't have to think about it. I love when I can get in here and craft. It's um, it helps to relieve stress and it gets um, you know, take a break from the reality of my life. That's why I love my job. My job is nothing but crafting. I get to play with ribbon and flowers. Oh my gosh, how fun. Just got a couple more things. And I think this one is going to be done. I just wish I had found a sign to go on the top. This would be pretty with a sign like right up here. Something that says like, you know, 2017 or even, even just Happy New Year. Because then you can use it, you know, over and over again. Just a couple more pieces of the small. 
white. And then I'll show you guys where I've added it. So if you're just joining me, I'm Julie Samaka with Southern Charm Wreaths and we are making um, a New Year's Eve wreath in the colors of gold and silver and white. And we've already um, attached the swag and we've added some glitter picks. And now we're filling in with some of this textured white stuff. I think I'm gonna add just this little short little piece right here in between the bow loops to make it look like the bow's not just stuck on top, but more intertwined with it. All right, let me step back real quick and see how that looks. Oh my gosh, you guys, that's so cute. That is so cute. All right, now I have these pom-poms. These are really, really cute, okay? So you see these, they're like um, fur. They remind me of some Dr. Seuss <laughs> movie or something. I'm just gonna cut these off. And put these in. Let's see, I think I'm gonna put this one right here because that will cover up the zip tie. So what are you guys doing for New Year's? Are you staying in? Are you going out partying? What do you guys do for New Year's? We actually don't have any plans this year, so I'm thinking we're just going to stay home and chillax. Watch the countdown. And then one more. And then I'll tell you where I've added everything. See if I can get a closer shot from you guys. Isn't that cute? So here, these are the white things that I added. Remember they were on this um, bush right here. So I added some right there, some right here, one right here. I've added one right here, one right here, one right here, down here. Don't forget the bottom and under the bow when you make your wreaths. One right here, one right here. And I added some, remember, into the bow loops and then one at the top. So if you just joined me, we're making a wreath for New Year's Eve. And we started with a swag that was already, um, we already purchased like that, but it had a lot of um, opening areas. We zip tied that to the bottom of the wreath, we added the bow, and then we filled in with fillers like this, the spiral um, sequined, the glitter uh, eucalyptus, and the white, um, uh, I don't even know what those things are, white soft things. And these cute little pom-pom fur, fur balls. We added one right here, one right here, and then one down here. So let me put that up and see if you can see it. We also, before we started, we painted the wreath um, with some gold paint to give it a um, shimmer. And that way you could, bl it will blend in with the swag that we, we, we were working with. So that is the finished wreath. Gladys, the grapevine wreath came painted, but you can um, paint it white, but we added the gold accent. So you can, um, oh, let me see if I'm holding it up tall enough, but you can definitely paint grapevine wreaths if you want to uh, spray paint it white, you could do that. But do you guys, how cute is that? Isn't that cute? And look, I mean, that was so fast. That was just so fast.
but um, I wanted to talk to you really quickly about, um, I am going to give away, in honor of my birthday, <laughs> in honor of my birthday, I want to give away three um, memberships to my number one wreath making of the month club, okay? So I'm going to post in the comments right now some links that I want you to do. If you were interested in joining, let's see if it'll let me do it. Let's see if it'll let me do it while I'm on. I might have to do it afterwards. But if you are interested in the wreath making of the month club, so every month, I teach you how to make a new wreath, okay? Um, let's see, last month we did the Williamsburg um, wreath with all of the fruit, and then, so I do a professional um, video where it's edited and I'm wearing a microphone, and it's very professional as if I were gonna sell it um, like I do my regular videos um, that I sell, but then also um, within the month, I give you, I do a Facebook Live just like we're doing right here, and I show you how to make a wreath that I'm either working on for a customer or something that I think is very, you know, trendy that might be really useful for um, people who are like, you know, love making wreaths. Um, so this month we're doing, I'm doing the, um, this month I'm doing this one which is the, so this is a winter wreath. I'm teaching them how to make the winter wreath. And then also I'm gonna teach them for the Facebook Live how to make a farmhouse style wreath with um, cotton. That will be fun. And let's see, what else do you get with that? I give you a list of vendors. I give you a supply list that you can download. And all of these videos you can watch over and over. So even if you drop out of the membership, you still have access to streaming the videos to refer back to. So um, that's my wreath making of the month club. I just, I'm having a ball with that. It's a growing, uh, evolving thing because it's brand new. It just started last month. And then, so I'm giving away three memberships and I've just posted the link. Um, what you need to do, you need to go click on the link and fill out a form. If you're interested in winning um, one of the slots, fill out the form and I'll review them all by next week, next Thursday. I'm going to announce on live Facebook, just like I'm doing right now, who the winners are. All right. So the next thing I want to give away are um, three membership slots to my uh, success circle group okay this so my success circle membership group is for uh, women or men if you are selling your creative goods online you know if you have an Etsy shop or Shopify shop or if you're selling even if you're selling at craft fairs or craft booths I want to teach you how to make money with your crafts it can be done I'm doing it right now I'm teaching you everything I know everything um, I've learned over the, like the 10 years that I've been doing it and I have to say that I feel I'm very gifted when it comes to technology and when it comes to um, you know color and advertising and stuff like that so I want to teach you um, how to use your creative God-given talent and make money for your family so if you're interested in joining my wreath making of the month club now that will be that I'm giving away three slots for that there is a, a, a form that you have to fill out I've posted the link um, on here and um, you go click on the the link and you fill out the form it's it's just a little bit more questions it's like 10 questions but I want to see um, how um, how much you really need I will I really want these three um, slots to go to someone who is in dire need of selling and learning and um, I, so I, that's why I want you to fill out a form okay I want to I want to read through everyone's you know story and pick the person or the three people who I feel will really benefit from um, my um, gift <laughs> okay so these will be for a year so you will win it for a whole year um, that is a that's a, the success circle membership is $37 a month I don't have a calculator and I suck at math so that's a good value, and I'm giving three away of those. And the wreath making of the month club is $27 a month, and that's for every month. And I'm giving three of those away too, okay? So I hope that you um, 
If you're interested, fill it out and share it. Feel free to share it. If you think that this, you know, if you're already in the Reef Making of the Month Club and you want your friend or your mom or your sister or whatever, you know, to join in with you guys, you could share it to them and have them fill it out and um, be considered. But um, I hope you guys are interested in that. Let me know what you think. And my video froze, of course, just in time for any questions you might have. <laughs> Um, I'm seeing a heart, so I hope you guys can still hear me, but I am going to probably end it there. I don't see any questions, but if you have any questions, I will come back in and answer them um, so that we can, you know, um, I don't want to miss anything, and um, I've got to get going with the family because we're going to do celebrating my birthday today. Today's my birthday, and we're going to be celebrating with a family dinner and um, whatnot. So I hope you guys um, love that idea of the giveaway of the membership clubs. And um, let me know, again, if you have any questions with the clubs, the memberships, or with the wreath that we just made. And let me hold it up so you can see it. And I hope you guys have a great New Year's Eve stay safe um, and the most importantly spend it with your friends and your family and your loved ones um, it's so you know time flies by so fast and it's it just gets away obviously I'm 48 today I was thinking how am I 48 I still don't even feel like I'm old enough to have a mortgage <laughs> So yeah, time is flying by. So um, anyway, enjoy the New Year's with your family and friends. And um, I hope you guys have a great week. And join me next Thursday. We'll be back on schedule at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here in the Wreath Shop. And I'm going to be making, um, I haven't decided yet. I never can decide ahead of time. I think I'm going to make um, a lantern swag um, for Mardi Gras. That's what I'm thinking about doing. So make sure you join me. Bye, you guys. Have a great night.